I want to live my dream life. I'm talking yoga pants every day. I'm talking a personal chef. I'm talking all the things. Keep watching to find out what you need to do to live your dream life. Cheers. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denagno and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. Cheers to ginger ale. <laughs> So if you want to live your dream life, you've got to figure out what that looks like, okay? So let's get straight into today's book. We should all be millionaires, okay? The author of the book is Rachel Rogers. Rachel is a lawyer, so I have to wear my lawyer solve problem shirt. <laughs> I'm a lawyer, lawyer solve all the problems, and Rachel is showing me how to get my dream life, okay? The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is economics, motivation, business, okay? So, there are five things in this book that absolutely blew my mind. And so I'm reading the book. It's part of the Confidence series because at the end of January, beginning of March, I was going through a funk and I was like, starting this business, I don't know how to price myself. What do I think? What would someone pay for? And so this is one of the books that popped up when I was looking for books about confidence, imposter syndrome, and all of it, okay? So we're going to start right off with number one, make a list of your bad girl actions, okay? Rachel Rogers says, we're always taught to be these good girls. Oh, Kyla's so sweet. Oh, Kyla let you skip in front of them in line. Oh, Kyla. No. Make a list of your bad girl actions. If you didn't have to answer to anyone, anybody about what you wanted to do, make a list, okay? So I wanna read you some of the things on my list. And they blew my mind to write them down because I was like, can I say that? Just write it, okay? So a couple of the things. Hire a housekeeper to do laundry, get paid to read books all day, cut off all my hair, train for a marathon, put my bills on auto pay, be on 60 podcasts in a year. Some of those are stretches. Be on 60 podcasts in a year while I host the podcast, while I also do YouTube videos. That's gonna take some maneuvering. Put your bills on auto pay. Girl, is that your dream life? It is, okay? And so vulnerable moment for me. I've never considered it a big deal to put your bills on auto pay. I look at my account every day. I know what's going on. I look at this, I look at that, I look at this. It's not about putting your bills on auto pay and you never look at your account. Rachel Rogers says she looks at her accounts all the time. She looks at them multiple times a day. But also, I'm a tracker, not a budgeter. So I'm just looking to see what I spent in case I need to move it from one savings account to another checking account. Well, <laughs> that's not a million dollar decision, okay? So that takes us to point number two. Rachel says you have to make million dollar decisions, not broke ass decisions, okay? A million dollar decision is something that gets your time back. Rachel talks about being a very busy woman and her husband is busy and they got these kids and who's gonna feed them? And one of the first things she did was hire someone to either bring in food or personal chef. And then with that time they got back, she was able to brainstorm and do other things and put more time into her business, had less stress, and then she got things done. Hiring someone to handle that was a million dollar decision. So once you read the book, you then start looking at stuff like, all right, I sent out an invoice in January. I sent another one in February to have it. Ah, it's March. Girl, contact that person about that invoice. And I did, and it was scary, but it was a million dollar decision. And you know what they said? Oh my God, I completely forgot. I will pay it right now. What? It was that easy? <laughs> okay. So you gotta pay attention to your broke ass decisions and your million dollar decisions. And that's all a part of getting this dream life, okay? Another way to value your time is to figure out what you want in life. Y'all, I made a list of all the things I wanted. Rachel told me I could do it. She's my big cousin. She told me, she was like, make a list of all the things you want. I want someone to come in and, and cook for us three times a week. I want a personal assistant to wash laundry and put it away. I want this. I want to be able to pay my mom's mortgage. I want to do that. I want to pay my life insurance for the entire year at one time. It was a lot of money. But when I looked at it, I was like, this is my dream life. This right here, $28,000 a month. I can't, I can't even say it out loud. Now, if I took the $28,000 a month, multiplied it by 12, and I saw what I needed to make for the year, oh my goodness, no, I can't. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely terrible. Stop. That is not a million dollar decision. A million dollar decision is how can I make $28,000 this month, okay? Once I have my number, then I can work backwards to find the steps to create my dream life because you need to make one million dollar decision after another million dollar decision after another, okay? So the book was absolutely brilliant because it made me think about what do I want? What does that cost and how do I get there, okay? And I mean, I was telling my husband, I was like, oh my God, $28,000 a month, but we'll have this, and we'll have this, we'll have this. He's like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Oh, that would be this many clients and this and this, and as I get better, I can increase my prices. It made sense, it made the dream real. 
and that I was absolutely priceless, <laughs> okay? So, you're still here, thanks friend. We've been through three points and we have two more points so that you can get closer to living your dream life, okay? If you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing and let's get into the last two points. Now off jump, Rachel Rogers says, I am not gonna tell you to not buy your $8 latte. You don't buy your latte, two weeks goes by, you've saved $80, congratulations for your $80. But if you buy that $8 latte and it makes you feel so good and so happy that you go fresh four hours of work, that is a million dollar decision. And that is why we have to decide what we want to spend our money on and what is important to us. Because when you think about if there were no limitations on me, what could I have? It's not about the $8 latte. A lot of money coaches will tell you, don't buy the lattes, that's why you can't buy a house, you gotta buy the latte. We don't have time for that. Rachel says, you want a latte three times a week? What are you gonna do to earn that $24 to pay for the latte? And it's a whole different way of thinking because so often we think of money management and money books and economics as struggle. Oh, I can't have my latte. I'm depriving myself for my work. Girl, get your latte and be happy. Get your latte and have the energy that I got right now so that you can record. Get your latte. But it's more than that. Rachel gets into all the systematic oppression and things that women deal with, especially women of color, and trying to earn money. And it's absolutely great. Like you're reading it and you're like, yeah, you're getting fired up. You're like, I can't believe all this has happened. But she's a lawyer, she does her research. So she runs you all the receipts and all the facts. And you're just like, if you want to dream life, which for a lot of us, that means becoming a millionaire, you got to figure out what that life's going to look like. You got to figure out how you're going to get that money to afford your lattes and afford that dream life. Okay. So the absolute last point, if you are such a compassionate, sweet, bleeding heart person, become a millionaire so you can help somebody out. Yes, you wanna donate your time because you don't got the $100 to give someone. That's cool. But also, what if you became a millionaire and you could just give that organization $25,000? You could then just write a check as well as committing your time. If for no other reason, become a millionaire so that your influence, your sphere, of influence and people can be so much greater than you and you can do so much more than you could have even imagined, right? What happens if instead of putting $1,000 in my savings account every month, I can donate $1,000, I can give $1,000 to this, I can buy $1,000 worth of diapers, give them to a local diaper fair or whatever. What if, what if? If you're gonna have a dream life, it probably includes you having some money and if you're gonna get some money, why not become a millionaire? Because we should all be millionaires, okay? I would definitely reread this book, 100%. I told you I went and bought it for some friends of mine. It's definitely gonna be a book that I will read because I'm reading it and I find myself crying. And I'm just like, oh, what is this feeling? I'm getting like butterflies in my stomach and I'm like, what, what is this, what is this? I was dreaming. I was daydreaming about stuff I could do. I was daydreaming about how much money I could make in 10 days. I was daydreaming about being a millionaire. I was daydreaming about how to take my daydream and transfer it into real action and become a millionaire. And I realized that I had not dreamt in a long time, okay? So get in the comments, let me know. Have you ever considered yourself a millionaire? And girl, what are you gonna do to become a millionaire, okay? So I will see you next time on Kyla's Rating Day. Bye.